25 tours so far, it's been pretty immense. Um, just the set's getting bigger and bigger, more songs. I don't like playing the same set all the time because you get new, new challenges. The band are playing hard, making good noise. And Matt has a really big energy. Um, just seems that whenever we go out, we got these days more intense of really blow people away, you know. It's more sort of uh, about trying to get the fans really into our world rather than us get, trying to get into our own world as just that. So it's like trying to get a collective feeling with the fans, you know. London and the album was really very hard to make and because we were so inexperienced in recording and all that and then you know do finishing again and finishing lights all these big songs even the new song heartbeats that Holly sings was a huge uh, task Well, the 25 tour, I am enjoying it actually very much. It's uh, a long stint, very good indeed. I mean, touring takes its toll, but um, yes, so far it's been very satisfactory. Favourite recorded moment of 25 years is probably finally finishing again, because it oh. took three months. Okay, so right awesome. Right in the arse. But it was worth it in the end. It's been a long time. Uh, they'll blur into one after a while. But I would say, I just think the fact we're still going is actually, you know, it's not really a memory. It's the fact that we're still existing is uh, actually makes me very happy each time we're on stage. Um, keep enjoying music. It's a positive.
25 years, uh, well, for them, for us, for it to still be going after that long is quite an achievement, I think. It's not easy to last that long in this industry um, and to keep being innovative and creative and keeping an audience for that long is quite a, it's quite a big deal, I think. The fact that um, it's changed members and changed kind of musical styles and the foundation has always been the same and the sound has always been the same. And I think, I think we've all grown together as a band and as people and that has a lot to do with it. You know, you hear about bands who just fall apart and you hear about bands who do things to cross boundaries and basically fuck everything up uh, and this band's you know, not been like that we've all just been focused on the same vision the same thing the same sound the same love the same passion and, and, and interest in music so I think that's who knows what the key is but that's how it's worked out in some ways and there's definitely have something to do with it Just trying to push yourself into or out of corners, push yourself out of corners and into you know different places that you can push yourself. You know stuff that you're not feeling comfortable with. You know challenges. That's the main thing. If you don't have challenges when you write music, then you make the same record, and that's you know kind of always kept us creative and kept, you know, even if it's been hard sometimes, it's uh, kept us really, you know, uh, kept the interest. Sorry, am I looking at you or the camera? You're looking at the <laughs> camera, I think. <laughs> what do the others do? Looks at the camera. Really? Yeah. Uh, look at me. I'm gonna look yeah. at you. This 25 tour is my absolute favorite in about the last five years, I think, because it's, there's something about the gigs for me. It's just feeling really good. The secret to 25 years of longevity in a band I would say is always evolving with the music and making sure that you're giving your fans something new 
that still feels like the band they love. I have many favorite live moments with Archive, but there are there's a few gigs that stick out. One particularly, there was a really, really hot venue in Lille one night, and we, I was sweating, but it was so much fun. That, I think that was 2016, I want to say. so much. Some of it's gone really quick, some of it's sort of like a blur really and other bits I think wow that was a long time ago because so much has happened since like 2004 or whatever. But yeah the great thing is that we you know we're just still pushing ourselves and still inspired because inspiration you can take for granted I think. Um, in fact We've still got that and, you know, it's still banging on and it's still enjoyable is, is a gift, I suppose, that we're very lucky to have, so, yeah. Uh, in our old studio in Clapham, it was pretty special and it just kind of kicked everything off and I felt like things had never really changed from there. There's always been the same magic, but Sometimes in the studio it's a struggle to get things going and you have to sort of fight with yourself and fight with the, the music and just to get into that place.
Cribs. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Here's my crib, man. There you go, two stairs. <laughs> days off. Today is actually the end of the day off to a gig today. But days off, I'd like to. Everyone does their own thing on days off. And um, it's the one time you get to kind of just not plan anything and do exactly what you want to do instead of being herded around, which is part of our life on the road. If you have a bit of headspace, and uh, not always, sometimes you actually want to you miss being around the people you're with all the time. Um, I personally like to hold up in my hotel room quite a lot um, and enjoy the space, open your bags up and get all your stuff out and all the shit you've been ignoring for since you've been on the bus and, um, and just have a bit of space, throw your stuff around and feel kind of nice, like you're not intruding on other people's space. A bit of work done. Um, or reading, or reading, or reading. Strolling the town. Um, it was a day off. It was a day off for the whole area, uh, so it wasn't like uh, there wasn't much open. But it was a nice, it seemed like a nice place. Days off. Back in the day, we just go out and get absolutely hammered the day before, the night before, and then just be hung over and carry on drinking on the day off, the day off, the day off. But then I think we appreciate the days off a bit more now, and kind of want to actually kind of wake up without hangover and actually get stuff done, you know, which is quite remarkable. Feeling very inspired with new sounds that I've got in the in my new laptop. Yeah. Get loads done. Because just constant writing more than I have done in for, for quite I don't get I get less distracted than I do sat at home than I do I'm, I'm a bit odd, I like working when there's people around me. Um but it doesn't I, I get a little more distracted when I'm sat on my own sometimes. I like a bit of bustle going on. It's like people always think I'm weird because I like to go and sit in a busy bar or a pub and read a book. But I find that less distracting than being at home where I start thinking about getting the washing done and stuff and really bizarre things. It's a cat being fed. Whereas if I'm in a, in a hotel, in, if, if, if I'm in, a, in an environment of people, I can, I can concentrate more.
good times, bad times. It's like anything, I think you just gotta learn all the time. And again, fortunate enough to have got the right balance over the years, because um, some people don't get it and it implodes and you can't sort of come back from it, so you start someone else. But I think a bit of luck in there, but also, you know, I think a lot of it's been done off instinct and feeling, you know, when you have the right feeling about someone and you go on that, that's the best way, I think, to then start a creative process with people. Um, and sometimes it works for a long time, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it works for a short time, but I think, yeah, just communicating at the end of it. Communication is the biggest thing, and sometimes you gotta, you know, put your ego to bed. for a few days and um, play some music, eat food and go to bed. So it's been really nice and here we are, 
touring in the autumn is always a fantastic thing because you get to see the world change around you. The seasons change, the leaves change their colour and then they drop and then they drop. So it's very, very cold. We're in Grenoble. We've got another couple of weeks to go and um, it's pretty great. <laughs> with uh, with everybody with crew the crew as in the family it sounds as a friend of mine said yesterday evening who's seen the band several times it's, it feels it sounds and it feels complete sense of it, uh, something being whole. What is the secret to these, this longevity? What is the secret to this? Why are we all here? I would say that's down to solid ideas, good music, solid people, and perseverance, and uh, a curious and trustworthy public. The queue again. Erased. Brother, I'll just go around. Alright, mate. Not so good. Pick it up. Great one, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Bring the house down. Sexy blown away. You know it. Bring the house. The current 25 tour is um, is an absolute pleasure. Um, I kind of see it as a bit of a reward, really, for not only the band but the fans, because it's like a I wouldn't say greatest hits, but it's all the big hitters and all the ba all the songs that we've would say scattered across the years. Um, whereas the big ones we kind of do two or three maybe per tour. We're doing them all, and it's been an absolute pleasure. The crowds are. Are, are, are totally into it um, and I'll, I'd say in the 20 years I've been doing it it's the best the band have sounded for quite a long way so uh, all good <laughs> Fake 
favourite recorded moment? I've got a few. I, obviously, there's a piece of my heart which is attached to again because it was the first thing I did with Archive. So it's quite a epic moment in my career as well as the bands. I, I really enjoyed controlling crowds. Um, there's, there's kind of bits on every album, but yeah, I'd say again, just for the momentousness of it. Favourite live moment? It's got to be rock and sane, I think. I think the, 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 the sheer scale of it, being asked to do it, pulling it off with an orchestra, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a moment uh, I don't think any of us will ever forget. The magic secret of keeping the longevity going. It's a tricky one, that. There isn't a magic secret, but I think the thing with Archive is they never stand still. They never rest. They never re redo something in the same way. They never regurgitate. They never copy. They turn a corner every time, every single time, every album, every tour, they will change direction. Um, um, it's very brave. I think they're the bravest band I've been involved in. Uh, and they're also the, the, the most um, out there and creatively miles ahead of anybody I've ever worked with. <laughs> 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 Ah, message for the archive fans. You're all great. 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 enjoying the 25 tour so far. I'm really enjoying the 25 tour so far. It's been really good. It's been really nice being back on the road with everybody. Um, yeah, it's been, been a lot of fun. It's been good. The show's been great. So uh, yeah, really enjoying it.
Uh, what's the secret to 25 years? Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. Songs. Fans still liking the songs. Loyalty. And us still enjoying and being authentic in what we do, I guess. <sighs> what's my favourite live moment? Uh, God, there have been lots. Uh, there have been, been a lot. Actually, I can't answer that question. I can't think of one specific show that I've enjoyed more than any. I can think of one where I was really, really nervous. And that was only because everybody else made me nervous. It was years ago. We were doing um, two nights somewhere in Paris. <laughs> where was it? What's it called? Not there's anything other place we did. Yeah, the Lycée Will March out. And I don't usually get nervous, but everyone was really nervous because everyone was coming down, management, office, everyone was coming down and I got really nervous. But yeah, in terms of favourite show, there's been, there's been a lot, so I can't remember. Anything. Hello, Hello. Uh, favourite recorded moment, I would say, Collapse Collide. really because we wouldn't be able to do any of these shows if you didn't come to see us and support us so thank you very much for 25 years merci beaucoup and all the other languages that i don't know how to say thank you and grazie how can i forget that one grazie and danke schön and thank you in all the other languages as well and i don't know how to say thank you in the other languages <laughs>when we were actually making false foundation i i looking back on it i kind of enjoyed how much work was going into that and waking up in a cottage where we were staying and i could hear this banging on the floor at like three in the morning i was like what the hell is that so i went upstairs it's darius in his pants listening to a mix banging his foot on the floor with his headphones on and he just didn't stop. I think it was like over 70 mixes of one song. Banging his foot, banging his foot, banging his foot, banging his foot, banging it, banging it, banging it, banging it, bang, 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 bang.
can see you. I can't see the camera lens. So what's you guys? I miss like it's so hard being. It's so hard having done the first two legs of this year and then not doing this tour. I am so jealous. So like, ah, uh, yeah. I have to try and not think about it really because like I'll wake up and I know when I'm a, when I wake up in the morning, I know you guys are on stage doing a gig. So I just have to try and distract myself <laughs> so I'm not super jealous. <laughs> like, no, no, it's actually, I like being a part of it. And then I'll, you know, randomly just message you guys on WhatsApp sometimes and join in the little group condo. <laughs> but, and hate not being part of the tour, but I do like stalking you all on the WhatsApp. Is there a, of all the songs that we used to do in the early tour... Which one do you miss singing every night the most? If it... Oh, end of our days. Yeah, it's the it's, it's me moment. It's my special time on oh. stage. I, 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 I just miss, you know, Darius creeping into the girls' room every day and catering. I miss having dinner with everybody and just chilling out backstage and, I just, I just miss seeing everybody every day. Um, maybe I wouldn't miss it if I was on tour with you guys and I'd be going crazy right now. But, um, no, the being, not being there, and I, I just, I miss you all. Doing the first two tours this year has really, like, made me be like, ah, oh, I want to get back into it and given me the taste. So I feel like I'm ready to do more shows. If I was on this big tour and I got given a koala, I'd probably burst into tears because I'd be like, oh, home, oh, oh, yeah. Let's and enjoy home. I hope, um, what, for t two weeks?
I'm reading a book about trees at the moment and they talk lots about the forest and the ecosystem and the balance and I think the longevity of archive is probably in that with the balance of people and everything that goes into it. For it to thrive you need you know the collaboration and the, the evolution and yeah. Uh, th there's I don't know there's not one particular one that stands out but there's one amazing photo which I love from a show, I think it was in Poland four or five years ago of us playing Numb and it's me and Darius and we named the photo the gorilla and the horse. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, inter it's, it's hard to pick one down. Sometimes the recording with Archive is fascinating because you don't hear anything in advance and you go in and you get an idea of what Darius is looking for, and then he'll play a song, and a couple of times that's the only time you'll hear it, and they're just recording all the time what's going on, and then you don't even remember exactly what you did, and then you hear it back, and it's like, oh wow. Mm. Thank you.
Philippe. Philippe. My best tour with Archive. So, I guess I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, regarding the, the set list, it's a 25 anniversary. The set list, uh, the way the set list is built, uh, all, of the, all, the, all of this. Technically, I think we reached a, a point where I'm quite happy about the point we reached technically. And, uh, and compared to the other tours, it's a different concept because it's this 25. So we're going through the, all this period, which is amazing. So. I mean, uh, I had some really old memories from a show in Cannes with the Philharmonic. I saw so many, some crazy outdoor, like the one in France we did also with Fauvier. There was a few other ones, like uh, the Athens one we did, is just because of the, the place, the venue. I mean, under the Acropolis was absolutely incredible. And uh, on this tour, I have a special one, like uh, Ali Pali was fantastic. Zurich was fantastic for me. And, uh, but I mean, the average of great shows is absolutely amazing. Really easy, writing beautiful songs and being the best world band in the world. So <laughs> that's really easy. Tonight, Tim. It'll be a three hour set. Beat Tour's going great. The last leg, Italy. It's different, very different from other places. The audience were amazing. Pollard had a fan that uh, uh, grabbed him on, ran on stage last night and grabbed him and wouldn't let go of him. We were all a bit worried. Um, show at a time, up to 42 shows, and uh, everyone was great, and everyone was in really good form, and we delivered, we did everything and more, and, you know, I hope everybody enjoyed it, because we, we definitely did. Um, well, uh, <laughs> good question. I hope I don't run out of ideas. You have to kind of ride it, I think. Any tour, you've got to ride it out and you've got to trust that that's a natural thing. Because you can do some shows where you feel, you know, not 100% because you might be a bit tired or you made a couple of little things that you know you can do better, but I think that's just sort of perfecting your craft in a way. It's been remarkable, it's 
been emotional, um, draining, powerful, and very satisfying. What are your hopes for the future? To finish my book. For archive? Oh, uh, <laughs> for archive, do what we always do. Where would you like to, to go next? The Isle of Man. That's where my parents, my mother was born and my grandparents. And yeah, we get to do a gig in the Isle of Man. It'd be amazing. So we keep playing new territories and keep expanding, keep writing good music. Um, pretty simple really, just slowly be able to play every corner of the world and all of us stay together and keep writing. Got hopes for the future. It's just, you know, keep pushing on, really. Keep, keep making it happen. Keep believing. Keep striving to be what we are. Keep pushing on. Say to the archive fans, man, the other night. Um, keep believing in us. With you know, we always push you a little bit with trying new things out. But you know, keep believing. Sound waves 
Feel the emptiness I hadn't really taken stock of when that happened or why, but it, it did, and it was just a bit of a just an incredible moment. Yeah. 